Welcome to WISIS Forum 2017, here to talk about the stock taking process at WISIS and its flagship event, WISIS Prizes. I am very happy to be joined by Vladimir Stankovic from ITU. Hello. Hello. Thank you for joining us. So, can you first talk about uh, the history of stock taking at WISIS? Yes, with pleasure. Thank you very much for having me in the studio. The WISIS stock taking process started in 2004 is one of the processes uh, of the VISIS Forum in the two phases, 2003 and 2005, that took place in Geneva and Tunisia, with the idea to produce and establish an international repository for collecting the ICT projects from the ground, representing how these new technologies can help the development. In 2010, VISIS stock taking process uh, took a new leap. Uh, we established the VISIS stock taking online platform, uh, the platform that makes uh, stock taking easier for our stakeholders to submit their projects, to also view and learn about other uh, stakeholders' projects and to partner with them by sharing information that uh, could be replicable in other regions and other countries. Since 2012, uh, the community requested that some of these projects uh, are actually also recognized for, the, for its work and we have started the VISIS pri Prizes contest as an integral part of the VISIS stock taking. Since then, on an annual basis, we are running the VISIS Prize contest and this year we had the seventh edition of the VISIS Prize contest. And it's been a real success, hasn't it? Yes. Um, talk us through the numbers, because I heard that this year you had a record number of applications. Yes, exactly. Uh, in the last two, three years, the trend is growing with the submissions. So in 2015, we had around 300 projects. Last year, we had uh, already 311, while this year we had 345. But the big jump was from 2014 to 2015, from 150 to 300 projects. Uh, that was uh, quite a big jump. It's uh, very important to notice that this year we had altogether 600 submitted projects, out of which 345 were nominated for the VISIS Prize contest. Nomination goes through the expert group uh, here in ITU, set up by the VISIS Action Line facilitators, who are then the moving them to the online voting. The online voting requests from the VISIS community that now uh, is growing uh, more and more, having 300,000 stakeholders registered the VISIS stock taking platform who casted the votes uh, for the VISIS Prize contest with 1.1 million votes uh, record high this year. So we are hoping that uh, next year we will actually have even more uh, submitted projects. We are hoping to reach 500 plus submitted projects and uh, to engage the communities elsewhere from the traditional community stakeholders that we are having so far. So what does it take to be a winner? To be a winner of the VISIS Prize contest, you need to have a good project, first of all. A project that impacts the society on the ground. Moreover, your community should also recognize your result by voting for your project in the online voting phase. After the online voting phase, the first five most voted projects are brought back to the expert group of the ITU experts, who are then selecting the winner out of the first five most voted. Last year in innovation is that we also try to recognize the runner-ups and they are recognized as the VISIS Prize champions. To be the winner also uh, rec recognizes if you are implementing the VISIS action lines, but also if your project is helping advance the sustainable development goals that were established in 2015. This new process will give us a better idea of how on the ground best examples are actually backing up the theory between the linkages of VC section lines and sustainable development goals. Right now we have around 650 projects since uh, combined from the last year and this year. And uh, in the future, we hope to have uh, thousands of projects that will help the data uh, that can actually be the data of po future for the uh, very important for the future policy making. WISIS Prizes is obviously your flagship event, it's very successful, but it's not the only thing you do to accelerate stock taking at WISIS. So you have launched other initiatives this year, haven't you? Can you take us through the initiatives you have launched this year? Yes, uh, thank you very much for this question. Uh, this year we have launched the photo contest. This is the first time that WISIS Forum is uh, hosting uh, the exhibition of the photo contest. We're trying actually to see how photography 
can uh, help advance SDGs by inviting the VC stakeholder community to provide us for f images, pictures of on the ground uh, pro ICT projects that are helping uh, advance the development. Besides the VCS, <coughs> excuse me, the VCS, uh, photo contest, we have also in, uh, started this year the um, uh, VCS Prize Corner, where all the winners and champions are invited to freely in the open space present their work, but also bring on their partners and maybe uh, someone from the VCS Forum participants as uh, future partners. In addition to this, uh, this year we are pleased to announce the launch of the ICT for SDG application. This is uh, available uh, both for on the Google Play and the App Store on Android and iOS. And this application really helps uh, un people understand the linkages between VC section lines and sustainable development goals. The new updates coming up soon will also depict all the 650 projects that I just mentioned that are uh, proving the linkages between VC section lines and sustainable development goals. And in the future, we hope that uh, this application will be used also for submitting the projects from around the world. Vladimir Stankovic, thank you very much for your hard work. I'm looking forward to the prizes next year. Thank you very much for having me. This is a great opportunity to promote what VCS Prizes is all about, but even more what the VCS stakeholder community is giving us. Thank you.